Okay, so hey everyone, Jason here. I'm still at Magnetowan and Christina just left. So she's done her trip. Uh, she had a good trip, you know, so did I. It was a great time. Um, really good to be out tripping with someone new, someone different, um, get their perspective and, you know, just switch things up a bit. So yeah, she's done and I'm now gonna continue with my trip and today I'm gonna to paddle into Daisy Lake. So it's not a, a huge paddle. It's probably gonna take, uh, you know, around two hours, uh, give or take. See how much filming I do. You know, that always takes extra time to, to do. Um, also, the wind has already started to pick up and it's gonna be a headwind. So yeah, anyhow, that's life. So let's get to it. Okay, well, I'm here. This is Daisy Lake. I'll get some better shots later, but uh, this is a wicked campsite. It's actually huge, it's too much for me. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull the canoe up, unpack, get a drink, because I'm incredibly thirsty at the moment, and then uh, set my camp up. Really, it's just a tent. I'll get that set up quick. I guess uh, the water bag, Sawyer filter, get it set up. Wow, this is a really nice campsite. Here, have a look. So I think I lucked out big time on this trip. That Eagle Lake campsite the first night was brilliant. Last night on Magnetowan was good. Now I'm over on Daisy. And yeah, it's incredible. Time to set up camp.
Well, went down to the water and washed off a bit. What are you doing? <laughs> so, <laughs> So I went down to the water and washed off a bit, and uh, yeah, it's around noon now. It's a nice spot. I said that when I got here. Really happy with it. You know, there's always something, right? Of course, there's always something. You know, if anything, I'd say it's you know, there's just a little bit like it's, it's too shaded. It's not though. It's whatever. It's just there's no sun shining in. Um, yeah, but that's fine. You know, it's a, it's a nice cool day. There's a bit of a breeze and I'm surprised. There's actually no mosquitoes or deer flies in here. Really good. Um, the portage from, uh, what was it? I guess Hambone over to Daisy. I'll have to check my map. But uh, yeah, the mosquitoes were bad. Deer flies were buzzing around as I was lugging things as well. So I was kind of expecting the lake to be kind of buggy, but Maybe it is elsewhere, but yeah. I haven't had a single mosquito or anything bug me since I got here. So that's good. As you can see, got a little chipmunk hanging out and uh, that's okay. I think that I need to make sure that I keep this closed from now on, but uh, there he goes behind me again. But uh, yeah, kind of cool. So I think I'm going to relax for a while. You know, there's been a lot of paddling, a lot of portage in the last few days. I'm feeling it. My body's tired. Um, slept great last night, but still, you know, was up early and, you know, paddled. I don't know how far. No idea, really. Whatever. Probably paddled two and a half, three hours today, uh, plus two portages, probably. I don't know. I'd have to check. I'm guessing close to a col kilometer. Um, yeah, and it just, you know, it wears you out. It's one of the things that I actually like being out here. It's, uh, you know, you get all the, the nature and the fresh air and all that, but the, you know, the hiking and the paddling and everything, it, I like the challenge, so it's really good. So I'm still paddling the uh, Sewers River canoe and really liking it. It's uh, the Tranquility, actually. It's a Kevlar epoxy canoe, a solo, only one seat. I think that when I measured it at Algonquin Base Camp, it was uh, uh, something like 13 and a half inches deep. I think it's 16 feet long, and I'm gonna guess that the the beam is around 24 inches, so it's it's very similar to a kayak, except deeper. It's got quite a V in the bottom, so getting in and out is a little tippy. It, to be honest, you know, no offense to Sewer's River, <laughs> great canoe. Um, I found it difficult loading the canoe, just because of the V bottom. Uh, it, like it, it does round out near the center, but the ends especially are quite quite v-shaped so that's where you put your pack so i've got a you know pack that probably is well 50 pounds at least and when i put it in you know it almost tips over so that's kind of a pain in the butt but once i get in it and start paddling it goes really good tracks really good you know i've had the headwind this morning and i did have to compensate a bit crossing Daisy Lake here it really picked up and I think I could have made it across with the the single bladed paddle I'm using a bending branch branches uh, expedition plus it's a it's my go-to paddle nowadays I love it um, but I decided to switch over to a double blade and it's the uh, bending branches uh, navigator it's carbon fiber shaft so it's quite light um, Actually, I'm gonna check with bending branches. I like bending branches, they're good paddles. Uh, I'm gonna check to see if they have an Expedition Plus 
with a carbon fiber shaft because I like that light weight, especially when you're carrying everything on the portage, uh, that it's, that's a benefit. There's a bit of flex and I don't know to say whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, okay, well, I just had some major technical difficulties with the camera. Um, so yeah, it probably saved you from my rant. Uh, took a while to sort it out. Um, I don't really remember what I was talking about <laughs> and don't really have a way to, to follow up. So yeah, anyway, so I guess what I'll just say is that I've got a few more things. I got my water hung, um, Sawyer filter, gravity feed, and got that hung. Got the tent set up. I've got the chipmunk that is constantly on the lookout for my food. And the last thing that I really need to do is just sort out where I'm going to hang my food bag and probably look for the thunder box. Probably need that sometime between now and tomorrow. So, yeah. And aside from that, I'm just going to take it easy. It's probably like 1 o'clock or something like that. Um, sort of clouding over. So, I don't know if I'm going to get rain. I'll have to hope that it doesn't. But if it does, then I'll deal with that too. I have a tarp, so whatever. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to continue on. Okay, well, in one of my last videos, I showed how to do a pulley system food hang. I'm not going to show how to do all that. You just watched me basically do it. Um, I'm going to add a link above that you can go check out that video if you want to see it. I've shown it a few times, but in that specific video, it's a, I had open space, so it's quite clear. Um, what I'm going to show is just uh, basically how to do a, a daisy chain knot. So. A daisy chain is really good to shorten a length of rope. So I'm using paracord, but all I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna, I've gone around the tree and now I'm just gonna do a, a slip knot here, right? So basically I just create a loop, right? And I can pull it and it's released, right? So then with that slip knot, all I'm gonna do is pull through another loop and then another and then another and I create this chain in the paracord okay so that's a daisy chain it's got a bunch of other names but basically it's a it's a good way to just shorten the length of rope so my family's been involved with equestrian for well generations and aside from tying a food bag, I can say that the j daisy chain is really good. It's a way, you know, in equestrian, you can tie your horse up and if you have a lot of line and you don't want the horse getting tangled in it, you know, it's the legs, you do a daisy chain and then when it's time to go, you just pull the end and it's down to your slip and then you just do your release. Okay, so it's quite good. Just tidies everything up. And of course, you can do it really tight or you can do it relatively loose. Um, I've actually, although I don't really do it, but I'll say I've actually packed rope in, thicker rope using a daisy chain, 
uh, and it because of doing all the loops it shortens the length a lot I couldn't tell you how much 10 times I'll guess because it ends up just being quite a little short piece and then when you need that you just you know basically unzip it and yeah you're good to go So with the daisy chain, the question comes up, you know, what stops the, you know, the chain from slipping, you know, over the night, you know, if you have a, whatever, you have your food bag or if you have a horse tied to it or whatever, obviously you're not going to tie a horse overnight. But, uh, so the thing is, all you do, it doesn't matter where, but you just, when you're finished with your chain, all you do is you take your working end and you pass it through the final loop, right? So now that's gonna bind and it won't allow the chain to release. And of course you tied it so you'll remember and you'll look at it and you'll pass through that end again. And then you've got your chain again to release, okay? So I've been sitting here watching the, the clouds move and it's quite bright shining over the water here and I've been seeing some fish, some minnows, tadpoles and I got to thinking, first off, I really need to bring a fishing rod and then the other thing is, I wonder what's in the water. So then I thought, I have a GoPro with a waterproof housing. So, I don't want to lose it, but I wonder if I can monkey together something with some paracord and lower this down and just record and see what's there. So, I'm going to give it a shot.
So all I've done is I've just tied a running bowline around my housing. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna drop it in in a few places. Now, there's absolutely no question about it. It's gonna be like fishing, and I'm gonna need to leave this sit. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop it. There's actually a, a the rock goes out here and then it drops down. So I'm gonna drop it down there. Maybe I'll drop it over there. I'll drop it in a few places. And then when I go to edit, I'll see if there's anything in there. And if there is, then fantastic. And if there isn't, then you'll get me saying, I guess there wasn't anything. Okay, well, I've got it tied up. Got uh, just the paracord, a running bowline. Seems pretty secure. So what I'm gonna do is basically treat this just like I was fishing. And I'm gonna drop it in in a few places. I'm gonna need to, you know, let it sit and uh, take advantage of the, the sun. Hopefully the sun will brighten up what, the water underneath so that we can see. And hopefully the, you know, it doesn't just go flat against the rock and all we see is rock face. So anyway, I'll move it around quite a bit. And if we're lucky enough to get something interesting, then I'll put it in the video here. And if not, then I will say <laughs> I tried. <laughs> but yeah, anyhow, let's have a look. Well, it's clouding over more, so I'm not really worried about the rain, but I have a feeling it could rain. Um, probably not for a while, like really, like probably not for an hour or two, maybe even later into the evening. But uh, I think that I need to really be on the safe side. Mosquitoes. Um, yeah, mosquitoes are starting to come out. I think I need to be on the safe side and get my dinner going still have a fire ban so it's just gonna be a MRE again I'm gonna have uh, the mountain house lasagna with meat sauce it's one of my favorites my favorite is actually uh, 
they have a, a chicken breast with uh, garlic mashed potatoes and for some reason I can't find them anywhere in Canada anymore so yeah it's really disappointing because like when I first saw it I thought how is it even possible to have chicken breast you know garlic mash that's kind of straightforward but a chicken breast I thought really but it totally is you rehydrate it and you have this chicken breast and it tasted brilliant so anyway so my friend the chipmunk's still hanging around camp as well so I'm gonna get this going this will take no time because of the jet boil just so quick um, then it needs to sit for around 10 minutes and uh, yeah I'm just gonna hang out with chippy for a while oh also uh, I don't have my fly for the tent so what I think I'm gonna do is later on if it looks more like it's gonna rain is I'll just use my tarp I'll hang my tarp over it I've got some tent pegs I've got some paracord so yeah that shouldn't be an issue there's no uh, I checked around there's no deadfall or anything if the wind picks up uh, yeah so I should be all right Well, Chippy's run off for a while, so now's a good time to eat. Yeah, I really don't know what's happened with the weather. It seems to be clearing up now. And not. It's just, yeah, the clouds are coming in and then clear break, so might be good. We actually need the rain though, like I said, there's a fire ban. It's been really dry summer. Back where I live, we've had like, I couldn't tell you, but I'm guessing it'd be like three days with rain this summer. And uh, around here it's the same, it's really dry. Water levels paddling in were really low, so. We need the rain. I'd just rather it not happen while I'm out here. Well, I don't know if you can tell, if you can hear. It's incredibly quiet tonight.
the sun's going down in a little while. And uh, Chippy's been amusing me most of the day and evening. There should be a sign up front, Chippy's Camp. Yeah, incredibly still, incredibly quiet. Mosquitoes are out. Tonight is one of those nights that having a campfire would be incredible out here. Just to sit and just hear the crackling. Unfortunately, <laughs> I can't. But I think not having one as well is allowing me the opportunity to hear this almost absolute silence. It's incredible. You know, like the birds are quiet. Chippy is making noise. But likely, he's telling me, can you believe it's so quiet? <laughs> Okay, well, that was a pretty nice sunset. So, anyway, I'm in the tent now. The mosquitoes came out pretty bad, but fortunately, I could see the sunset from inside. Um, yeah, just had the basically the the fly door facing the lake all day. So, sit in here and bug free. Yeah, nice. Anyhow, not much left to do. Can't have a fire, so no point staying out with the mosquitoes on my own. So, no playing cards or anything. So, yeah. Besides all that, I'm beat. So, yeah, gonna go to sleep. 
start a new day tomorrow. Good night. I don't know if you can hear that, but it did start to rain. So, luckily it's just a light rain right now. And uh, when it started, I had the... I have vents in this tent and I had the roof vents open. I felt a few drops come through, so um, it was kind of like early warning, I guess, just a few light drops. So I went out and I put the tarp over top of the tent. It was in the dark and uh, yeah, I did the best that I could, should hold. Um, basically just did like a A-frame type system using tent pegs with the tarp over top, split down the middle, and uh, I have one piece of paracord running off, sort of like a like an awning off the front by the door of the tent. So, so yeah. So hopefully it doesn't pick up too much, and uh, if it's just light rain through the night, it should keep me dry. So because it's a silk nylon tarp, I've opened up a couple more of the vents just to make sure that I get good airflow uh, through the, the tent. It's not, obviously it's not gonna make the tent whatever airtight, but it will just cause more condensation inside the tent. So having the vents open will just help a bit of airflow. Anyhow, that's it.
mint chocolate. Okay, well, heading out. Well, not really. I'm actually heading back to Magnetowan and uh, I'm gonna spend the day there. But this is the end of this video. I need to make sure that I spend time when I'm outdoors like this not filming because it's a lot of work, a lot of run around. It's a lot of, relaxing as well but it is a lot of work and you know when there's you know you see a moose and then you run for the camera try to get it you miss the moose you know or you miss sitting and watching it you know and then you look through the lens but you don't really get to see it until you view the footage so it's important that I just take time when I'm out here and uh, be out here as well. So this is the end of this video and uh, I'm gonna do another video while I'm out here but it's gonna be shorter and a different kind of video. I've been getting a lot of emails and messages through social media asking me questions about YouTube and you know advice should I start should I is it worth it you know how do you get more views stuff like that so I thought I should make a video that answers those questions clearly people watching are interested so yeah I'll make I'll do something up and I don't know if it'll be one video or more than one but we'll see how I feel today but yeah it's kind of cloudy day but that's nice a nice cool paddle out I don't mind if it rains a little um, but yeah, that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed this trip and uh, well, thank you for watching. I remind you, don't forget to give it the thumbs up and please leave a comment. Okay, see you later.